Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Thunder Chief building action. Without the drama, baby. Ain't no Oprah TV in here. <laughs> Alright everybody, I am ready to cut me up some carbon. Now I've had a lot of questions lately about carbon. Mainly the price of it. Yes, this stuff is expensive. They like this stuff. They don't want to sell it. <laughs> they want it to sit in their warehouse. <laughs> but, you know, my regular glass cloth, that 10 ounce, I get a pretty good deal on that at Associated. Get that about, about four bucks a yard. I'm going to buy a roll of it. Have four ounce, about the same. And when you buy it by the roll, you know, this stuff, when you buy it by the roll, $30 a yard. Oh, yeah, that's three. Oh, not three. Three. Oh, <laughs> 30 bucks a yard. So, yeah, it's a lot more expensive. That's why you just use it in the high stress areas, you know. It would just, it cost a ton of money to lay this whole thing up out of carbon, you know, and it's just, you don't need to, you know. Uh, a fact to be known, I probably wouldn't even need, really need to make these rudders out of carbon. I just, you know, I don't know. I, w I don't want them coming apart. I don't want them, you know, I got it. Let's do it. You know what I mean? But I got uh, both my rudder deals done last night, my phone, and my elbows. It's hard to believe it. I'm gonna put that together, and that's going to make me a nice part right there. But it is. What we've got to do is cut some carbon. Now you know this carbon's got carbon running this way, it's got carbon running this way. It's straight up and down. It's not a bi weave or nothing like that. You know, and I have talked to some people, you know, that work on you know, I met some incredible people last summer. And someone was telling me how they do their carbon. They are picky, picky about these strands. I know people, people that don't even like to use bi-rectional. They think when that, when that weave goes up and down, that allows for stretch. That's why they make that stuff that's just in single layers straight. By, you know, and uh, they like to use nothing but that stuff. And, you know, uh, these models just don't need stuff like that. But what we do, what we want to kind of keep an eye on this direction. You see them lines? They're printed in the cloth. Okay? And we kind of need our strength going there. Top to bottom. Maybe even a little bit at an angle. So we'll line it up on that yellow line right there. But bring it down here closer to the edge. Because we don't want to waste a bunch what we're trying to get away from and if we go up just a little bit more BAM then I got my lines running this way in that piece see because you know if, if you do it at a 45 you get a crisscross pattern like that and in some applications it, it, that that'd probably be the thing to do Especially in here, we're going to put double this carbon up for that uh, rudder post. That rudder post is going to go in there. Okay, the, the, my big piece of cloth, I got the strands running this way. But when I go to double it for that post, I need to turn it on a 45. That way I got direct, you know, cloth running that way, cloth running straight up and down laminated that's where you get your big strength from this carbon and uh, 
the thing to do is lay it out to where you don't have a bunch of scrap. And so, but see, this scrap here I'll be able to put there. This little scrap here I'll be able to put on the other side. So we're not doing too bad so far. And this one here. Oh, it's this one that's going to kill me. Okay. Oh, God, there we go. There we go. That ain't so bad. Now this one, bam, right there. There we go. That's a good layout right there. You gotta kind of straighten out them lines a little bit. Just tug on them like so. Let's get the lines out. Straighten them out a little anyway. Alright, now. Someone else was talking about uh, carbon interfering with radios, too. Let me go with that. Someone was talking about don't carbon interfere with the radio signal. Well, they was having a lot of issues when they first came out with 2.4 and a lot of planes were going in. I don't know if they was blaming a lot of it on carbon fiber. I, I don't know. But radio waves don't go through carbon, we know that. But, this thing has several antennas throughout that fuselage. You know where there's no carbon I'll put them antennas and uh, they're made to where if one antennas don't go through steel either like turbines and other stuff like that landing gear uh, when one of them receivers is in front of a piece of steel or a piece of carbon you got three other receivers throughout the plane and them receivers are made to where they black out during the flight and they got little readout things where you can tell uh, how many uh, spots, how many hits you get in each receiver and if one's getting away more than the other you need to move that receiver to a different spot in that plane and they have receivers out JR and uh, and spectrum that are carbon fiber receivers that are made to go through carbon fiber. So that's kind of the thing with carbon fiber, you know, and that if you wanted to build a whole airplane out of carbon, you'd probably have more issues with it unless you had a, a carbon fiber made receiver. So, in short, uh, I think we'll be fine <laughs> with this carbon, you know. That's just kind of my thought on the matter of that carbon, guys. Don't take that scientifically. <laughs> you know, there'd be a nice little scrap there, I would say that. But uh, that's what I found. You know, a lot of these planes got a lot of carbon in them nowadays, and uh, they do just fine. You know, a lot of them quick erasers are all carbon, you know, and they do fine. 